Hi everybody, welcome to our Sunday premiere. Uh, I've been talking all week about making a collage strip and how you make it and I've decided now that, um, well I was going to make a collage strip but I've, it kind of is, but it's more of a snippet roll I think probably. So what I've done is I've taken my piece, uh, two pieces of paper actually, and I've cut them into three and a half inch strips. So whether you've got 11 or 11 and a half, it doesn't matter a jot. Uh, it's just that the width I've chosen is three and a half. And I, I will be adding these onto it as I, as I go. But let's just make a start with one, see how we get on with that. So I just want to tear the, tear the edge. I don't want it really straight. So on both sides, tear your edges. So we started off at three and a half, but obviously now we're tearing a bit off it. So it's up to you. You might want to compensate for that by adding an extra bit on. It depends what width you, overall width you want yours to finish up at. I like to do mine at a width that I can use for side pockets and things, and also back to make a tag. Um, but I think this will be, I think this will be fine. So I'll do this with all of the pieces, but I'm just going to work on one piece at a time. Make sure my theory works, <laughs> uh, which it might not. So th this is what I'm using to, to build on. And it's um, cream, it doesn't have to be cream, coloured uh, one... 60 is this 160 Mr. F or 180? I can't remember. Is that the cream card? Yeah, it's the ray. Mm. It's alright, I've got a block here. I've got a block here, I'll tell you. This is it. Um, oh well it usefully doesn't tell me on the front. Let's have a look on the side. See if it says anything. 160 GSM, that's what it is. So 160. So I don't know how that correlates into pounds, but it's kind of heavyweight paper, lightweight card. So that's it, that's fine. Now I'm just going to get my inky board out. It's already got quite a lot of brown on it, but I'm not I'm not that worried about it. Uh, and to ink I've got the archival ink in the dusty concord wow that looks a long way away doesn't it archival ink dusty concord um just in case it gets glue on it or anything like that um or I want to put a collage medium or matte medium or something over the top where's my little here we go so I'm just gonna go down down the edge with just a little bit of this purple and it is picking up quite a lot of that brown, but I'm not that worried. It's just dulling the purple down a little bit. It's dulling the purple down quite a lot. <laughs> Whoops, that's a big block there. I think I'd be better off. I think I would be better off, not with the brush, but with a, one of my dome things. And I never like getting the new dome things out because they take ages to get enough ink on them. Anyway, got a newish pack of them here, so let's take one out. Ah, oh, well I paused you there to look for my foam thingy and every came, which is a courier service here, and uh, something else happened as well, I can't remember what. Um, but every brought me my proper sized archival ink. So I've got vintage photo, ground espresso, hickory smoke and black soot. And I no longer have to deal with a little toy town version of it. <laughs> so I'll carry on using that until it comes out. But I have got proper sized, adult sized ink pads. Problem with that is they don't fit in the drawer that I've got for my archival. Oh, so it goes on. Anyway, let's get back to inking this. So I'm going to have to really load this because, like I say, when they're new, they're the devil's own to get ink onto. That doesn't look too bad, actually. And, oh yeah, that's what else I did. I cleaned my 
nothing. So yeah, it was a it was a productive break. So I just want to go over the edges here. Just give it the idea it's going to be pink, pink, pink. <laughs> you blooming idiot. You blethering idiot. Purple. You might have spotted that. So that's fine. Just want to, that's all I need. Right, so now I'm going to put, oh, Mr. F's just handed me this. This I really do need to bring up to you. Can you see that? <laughs> he made a miniature distress ink pad. Oh, I mean, it's fabulous, isn't it? See how small it is. It's just brilliant. So there's one for you, Judy. Yeah, really nice. I need to use that somewhere, you know. So, right, we're ready to begin then. I'm going to leave this. No, I'm not. I'm not. I was going to, but I'm not. I'm going to get a piece of blue roll because I'm going to do some stamping. And I want to stamp off the paper. So, yeah, look at that. That's perfect size. Um, so I've just looked out some stamps that I thought would work okay for backgrounds and things. Um, this is a nice one. Can't even remember which stamp set this off, but it's a Timmy one. Um, do I want it on an ink pad, on a block? I don't know. I've got things sitting on top of my bin again. Let's get the part the block out and see. It'll be easier to use, won't it, if it's on a block? It's got absolute zero stick. So let's stick that down. There we go. And it's had black on it by the look, so this might come out not the most purplest in the world, and it's going to take ages because it's a tiny ink pad, but I'm not fussed if it's not really a fabulous stamp. Let's just try that. So I want it to come over the edge, but I do want it straight. That's great. Oh, yes. There used to be an advert here. We used to get cereal called Frosties, they were, I think. Um, <laughs> like a, a sugared cornflake. That's what I can describe them as. And I have an incredibly sweet tooth, so I can tell you, I thought they were absolutely marvellous. They might still make them, I don't know. Um, and the reason, <laughs> the reason I'm telling you about this is because... Uh, in their advert they used to have this Tony the Tiger he was called and at the end of the advert when they told you how good they were for you despite the fact they're sugar um, he used to say that's they're great <laughs> and that just reminded me of that when I said oh that's great so that was uh, that's a minute of your life you're never going to get back <laughs> so I think I've probably finished with that now Let's move on to something else. I've got this one, which is documented. Really handy stamp this, stamp set. Very, very handy. Might even stick that one, you know. Yes. So let's ink this one up. Like I say, I'm really not fussed if it's not the world's best stamp. It's literally background. Let's put that. Oh, let's get it the right way around. Let's put that up there. Oh, and it does. It stretches from the bottom right to the bottom of that other stump we've just put on. Oh, that's really nice. And it'd be a bit obvious if we put that there, so I'll leave it for the time being. Um, get something else out, this one maybe. You can tell how much or how infrequently I've used these by whether they stick to the stamp platform or not. <laughs> Put that up there. Oh, these stamps are all coming out really good. <laughs> and then 
we need something for there that's a bit big it's a little on the large side that one so we'll come back with something else for there let's have a look at this one it was my intention not to cover the whole thing but you know it appears that I am covering the whole thing so I'm just I'm winging this guys I'm totally winging it might work then again it might not we'll see but it, actually it's beginning to look really nice once I've done all this big stamping I'll ask Mr. F if he'll um, zoom in a little bit because you're quite a long way off it's just I wanted to get the whole thing in to make a start with how much of that can I get in I can get in up to the Monday and see if I can ink that then from the Monday down That's fine, that looks nice. Blimey, this is this is looking really nice. Uh, it's what's going to come next is puzzling me because I, I don't know. I've got this Studio Light Essentials called Writings. And it's one of those stamp sets I keep getting out because I think I want to use it and then I can't find a place to put it. Um, but I think... I think it'll go there. Just that little bit in the in here. A bit low down, but that's fine. Right, so we've we've succeeded. We've got this background covered. Oops. Whoa, everything's falling off. There we go. I'm just gonna put that back in in its packet because I'm going to lose them otherwise. There we go. Right, so that's the stamps. Now then, what are we going to move on to? That is such a good question. I have got a pack of, yeah, this. It's 49 a market. It's collage sheets and in a colour they call toast, which is just like an, a light brown. And I think they might look quite nice as little bits on the page. But I'm also thinking I might quite like purple frames. So let me go and dig for those. Right, well I've found two separate framey things. I'm not sure who these are. I think Mr F might have found them. They're like, in fact, I'm going to ask Mr F you just zoom me in a little bit because you can't really see what I'm talking about that's better see what we're up to now so yeah there's these four sets uh, four sets four stamps in one set and they've got a frame around them and they've got flowers they look like spring flowers to me and then there's this dark room door one that came in six it was six together with dark room door you always have to cut them out yourself but there's four left there together, which I think would be, I'm not going to cut them apart. I'm going to use them like that. Um, so let, let's do that and see what we get. I'm going to use some some of that cream paper, the off cuts that I've got. Um, let's see where we get to. Oh, that's, I was just practicing with that. But the, nothing wrong with the other side. So um, let's try these and see. I mean, it might be that they look a bit big. You don't know till you try, do you, really? So the weather forecast today is it's cloudy, but the sun's trying to peep out. I put some washing in, but um, it might be might be showery later on so it's a bit of a curse if you've got to keep running to and from the, sh the shopping line the washing line and we're going to have an early lunch 
Wow, well, they're delicate, aren't they? They're quite nice, actually. I'll try one more of those. That's it. Um, this one's got a bit more to it. Let's try that. I do like them though, they're nice. Make sure it's got enough ink on. Top, 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 top. Yeah, they're, they're not overtly purple, are they? Not really. Anyway, they're nice anyway. So I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to bring my bigger piece in. And stamp these out. Darkroom door do fabulous stamps. They're definitely on a par with Timmy. The only thing, as I say, is when you get them, you've got to cut them out. They are mounted and everything, but you've got to cut them out. And the first time I did it was with a butterfly set and my heart was in my mouth the entire time. Um, but it worked fine. Ooh, I wonder if I can get them that way on here. Yes. Oh, they don't look purple either. I think it's just the colour of ink I've had on this stamp before. That's why you should clean your stamps. But I don't. Let's try this, see if it's going more purpley. A little bit, but not massively, but a little bit, so we'll settle for that. Okay, so let's cut these out. Just leave a little margin, which we can't ink with purple, so... Do like labels. I must be honest. Oh, I've gone quiet. Have you noticed? I can't do two things at once. I just can't. Well, not cut and talk, because cutting's always dodgy where I'm concerned. Right, so there we are. We've got those labels. I think that's going to be enough for our, um, you know, just the one page. We'll see how we get on with them. I want to stamp something on them, however. So let me turn to my box of frequently used stamps. Oh, that's not it. Oh no, I can see it. It's here. And see what we're going to put on these. Um, does that fit on specimen? I think it does. Excellent. What have I just done with my stamp platform? That's not going to stick, is it? Is it? Is it? I think it is. Wow. So I'm stamping in purple as well. If you're doing this, you might think there's a bit of purple overload and you want to use something else. It's fair enough. So I do want that fairly square because it's actually got a thin line around the outside of it. That's fine. Like I say, it's not 
not knockout purple, but it is purple. We know it's purple. Uh, so something else. What about that one, the flower one? That would go on there nicely. Let's do that. Oh, tickled by the way these are sticking today. <laughs> they don't normally stick. As anybody who watches me knows. That's what they're doing in the box. I couldn't get them to adhere to the the you know the plastic that the stamp set comes on. They just kept dropping off all the time, so I put them in their own box. Oh, that's better. That's getting a bit more purple. That's nice. Nice. Uh, then we've got these two smaller ones. So where am I going to put on that? Does the butterfly fit? Does it heck? Um, let's just have a bit of a dig through, see what we've got. I've got tag number, I always like that one. That's a firm favourite of mine. Um, oh, I've got all sorts of goodies in here, all sorts. Do they fit on one, two and three? No, just not. Could have handle with care. It's maybe a bit large that um oh there's a butterfly. That's a bit large as well. Um the shake well. Too big. Oh my goodness me. Too long. Name of remitter? That's gotta fit. Yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna have to glue that a little bit. I'll put some on there because he's my next target. Name of remitter. Lovely. Then we want the tag number on the other one. I'm going to put this one at the top. That's, that's just great. I'm pleased with those. They're lovely. So, put my box of frequently used stamps away. And we can get on to decorating this, really. So, yeah, they do stand out, kind of. Kind of. I don't mind if they come over and we have to tear them off. Let's just have a look and see. I want basically all of that on there. And I've also got this one. So yeah, we're start it's starting to come together just slightly. Just a little bit. Right, so I don't want to use any of the the purple ephemera out the palette pack. Because um, it's it's just going to be too much, I think. So, like I say, I have got. I'll just put those stamps to one side. I've got these collage sheets. I've also got washi tape. I've got wash washi tape. You would not believe. So let's have a look at this and see what the purple looks like. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Let's, oh great, I'm a bit cut off already. I've obviously been pilfering already. So let's cut these purple ones out. This is like fabric washi tape. Well, it's not like fabric washi tape, it is fabric washi tape. I'm just going to put that back on there. I don't want to waste it. It's uh, 49 and market. It is Spectrum Sherbet, I believe, but I'll check that for you in a minute. Put this back on there. Some gorgeous colours, isn't there? Wow. Yeah, 49er market, um, Spectrum Gardenia it is. 
repositional fabric tape and there's five meters on the roll and I think it was something like 15 quid which is a little excessive so let's see what else I've got in the land of purples this is spectrum gardenia as well let's have a look ah oh, they're all colour swatches but they're kind of small this one is orangey is it just oh no there's purple in it as well Let's get that purple out to play then. And it goes on to about there where it goes into the oranges. So I'll leave that out as well. Ooh, lovely. I'm so glad I can use some of these up because I've had them quite a while now and I haven't made anything substantial with them at all. Um, there's this one. Is it just until I open them I really don't know there's the end oh, there's a little bit of purple in there it's not masses is it well let's get it out anyway it goes off into the pink there and then into like a speckled egg color there so I'll leave that out put this back on oh they're so gorgeous these and then this one which looks like it might be absolutely delicious look at this oh my goodness me that's beautiful let's cut that down there and down here then we've got a lovely purple section oh my goodness me Yes, we have. Right. So let's see what else I've got. Um, I've got this one, but I really don't. There's no purple in that. It's nice, but no purple. Um, so, yes, I've got this. Ticket essentials. Perforated tickets and stamps. Three rolls, five metres each. Let's have a look. Let's have, ooh, ooh. So there's this one. They're all like, can you see? They're like little tickety things. I'm leaving that out. Um, this one, also little tickety things. More in the line, more in Judy scale. And this one that stamps. Oh, yeah, they're great. Right, I'm going to leave that whole pack out. They're perfect. So let's see what else I've got that I could use. I laid this out, 49 and Market Curators Essential Pages or something. I don't know what's in here that's purple, but I saw bits that were taking my eye. So let's just remove this. until I see what we've got. Well, that was a long break because I've now had my lunch. Light lunch today. Mr. F's going off shopping now. Uh, it was omelette. And I don't like anything in my omelette, actually. I just like plain omelettes, just with eggs. So anyway, this is what I was up to. I was looking for purple bits. They are purple. They are purple. Let's leave those out. This is a, I think I told you, didn't I? It's a curator's, 49 market curator's stuff. That's quite purpley, this one. Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to use any of these, you know. Um, but, like I say, you never know. Let's lay out the options. And then we'll know where we're at. Oh, there's lots of little purpley ones here. Really nice really nice and some yellow ones I must remember that when it comes time to do the yellow oh that's lovely oh that's lovely yeah. that's gorgeous I'm laying that out and then we're back to the beginning of that pile and there's another little pile in here perfect for orange 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 oh that's another nice purple one 
turquoise. Oh, there's all sorts of goodness in here. Goodness. That's just gorgeous. And then we've got the bigger pieces that I'm pretty sure we don't need. But they're good to have, you know. Oh, it's so pretty. But we it's too big, too big for what we want. So yeah, they're all a bit a little on the large side. So let's pop them back. We've been out through there. Excellent. Let's have a look, see what else we've got. Oh, these Spectrum Gardenia. Spectrum Gardenia. Gardenia leaves, laser cut elements. Ooh. Ooh. This is from that massive big shop that I did. Do you remember when I bought just about everything 49 and market ever made? And I haven't used it. It's sat in the we were shunting it around when, I was, when we were clearing up a couple of weeks ago. And um, so, oh my goodness me. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll leave those out. I'm not going to take them out of the where they are at the moment. Uh, I did make some purple ones myself, just die cut them. I used um, a mop-up cloth, well, mop-up paper, and just die cut them out of that. So I thought they might look quite nice. That was before I saw these ones. <laughs> but anyway, we'll, we'll leave them out and see. Um, so that belongs to that. Let's put that on the bottom. Then I've got these ones. Spectrum Gardenia General Laser Die Cuts. Anything in there that's taken my eye? Well, it will only take a couple of seconds to look, so let's have a look and see if there's anything purpley that we want to use. So that's the outer wrap. That's gorgeous, but it's too big. Oh, I like that and that and the butterfly. Oh, and they're, they're ribbons. Oh, my goodness. Oh, is that a frame? I believe it is. Mm, it's only a partial frame, I think. Leave that there and put that there. Then I've got these gigantic butterflies. I think they're. I think I bought these online. I didn't quite realise just how gigantic they are. I can't even get into them. That's just silly. How do you get in here? There. That's it. Well, that's the cover sheet with that on the back. Yeah, look at those. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, and there's more purple ones over there. So, yeah, I'll lay those out. They look like they want to be used. And then this one. These might all be a little large for what we have in mind. So I'll leave them there. I won't open those up. Despite the fact it's killing me not to open them. <laughs> Anyway, let's let's see what we're going to do here. So I quite like that there. I like that there. Um, specimen, like it there, and that down at the bottom. Yeah, I like all of that. Uh, these little ones with the the purple flowers on. That could go there quite nicely. So we're just doing what we do for collages, basically. That's nice, but it's green. But does that matter? It looks very nice. Let's pop that down there. Like that. Shove it in a little bit because there's a lovely purple bit there. There. Then we've got these. 
I don't think I want to use too much up because I have got all the washi and I've got oh blame me now I've stuck things to the washi so I've got this so just a little bit of that down there I'm going to have to commit to the stick at some stage guys and I think it's probably now so let's glue the labels down Commit to the stick. So, which way do you go? Other way, of course. So let's just pop that quite near to the top. And I'm going to have to tear it off to match the, the edges of our paper, but that's okay. We can do that. It's coming together nicely, isn't it? So that's going to go about there. I want the, as much on it as I can. There we go. Lovely. Um, now, if I want to put that behind, I'm obviously going to have to... Oh, oh Lord, I've stuck it to the... There we go. Um, I'm going to have to put that behind. So you need to decide now if you do want that or not. I think I do actually. I, I like it. Got no purple ink on my dauber at all. Oh, that's nice. It brings the edges in. Yeah, I, I like that now. Right. So let's stick that down. That definitely goes that way because the flowers are going up. Yeah, okay. So that way and about there. Is it straight? I think relatively. Okay. Then these ones. Quickly gets full full up. That's why, you know, the stamps in the background are just perfect. They're not adding any excess. Uh, thickness to the whole thing. Let's pull that off there because it's going to stick. And then this one is just going to go back there, I think. And I like that. I'll take that away for a second. See what we've got. I like it. It's coming, coming together nicely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, so got that so far. Now, these leaves that I printed out, uh, printed, painted, die cut even. That looks nice there. Got a big sort of blankish place there. That might look better in a biggish blankish place. And that there, maybe. I can cut more out. I just cut a limited amount out cause, because I wasn't sure if I liked them or not. Um, still not sure that that goes there. I have to cut some more out. Quite like that. But let's go in with the washi tape next. Let's see where we're going to put it. Because we don't have to use it all. But I could put a bit just across the top there, couldn't I? Yeah, that would be nice. Let's cut that off. Well, actually, I want to tear that piece of the label that's sticking out off kind of level with the edge of the paper. There we go. So just cut this 
wash it off. Like that. I've got a little, a little bit of the label stuck on it, but that's all right. So I'm going to stick that on the edge of my desk because no doubt we'll want to use it some more. So that's there. Um, where's the other bits? This bit. That's just gorgeous. That's too cool for school. Too cool for school. I'm going to cut it long ways. So yeah, it's not exactly the cheapest of snippet rolls, this. By the time you take into account the price of all the washes and everything, but that's okay. We bought them to use. have to keep reminding myself of that. So I'm going to put that down there. That's where that's... Oh, it's bent at the end. Like that. That's, it's, oh, it's all coming together now. It's lovely. Lovely. Um, I've got this washi as well. Because I can always go in and get more. Yeah, I'm just going to cut that about there. Save that for the next one. Put that about in a little bit, maybe about there. Starting to look nice. I think that would go there quite nicely. I think around it a little bit. Turned into a lot, but you know. Darn it. So yeah, I'm just going to stick that there. Like that. Lovely. Look at it. It's all looking nice. So we've got a bit of a gap down here. We've got a bit of a gap there. Um, and I do kind of want to use my leaves, but didn't I come across some other leaves that were purple? Some really bright ones. I think I did somewhere. Let's see if I can find them. Yeah, here they are. Here they are. Right, let's let's put the lid on the glue and the lid on the ink while we think. Think about this. Let's just take one out. Take this smaller one out. They are just kiss cut, but honestly, the the uh, stems are so narrow, so fine that they're kind of difficult to get out. I was talking to the lady from uh, the Mad Scrapper, and she was saying that people complain endlessly that they've torn their pieces when they're getting them out. I can see why, but you just need to be a little bit careful. So I could put that on there. That would look nice. Yes, it does look nice. There's a little one here. Oh, plenty of it. Oh, awkward. There we go. It's a nice little one. That could go there. Lovely, lovely. And I just want one more. One more little one, do I? Kind of want something up there. I'm going to use this part of this washi up there. Uh, scissors, yes. So I'm just going to take quite a thin piece. Up there. Stick that on my desk, on the edge of my de desk. That's got a butterfly wing in, so I can see which way up is. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. I'm just wondering, you know, if green 
Let, let's take one of these uh, leaves out in green and see see what happens. It might, it might be pants, but it might not be. Let's do away with that one and put a green one there. Yeah, you see, I quite like that. I do actually quite like that. Oh, no, another question. Do I like that more than, say, that? Well, it certainly goes more botanic, doesn't it, if you use the green leaves? It's got to be said. That's more botanical. Let's see the butterflies. Bring on the butterflies and see what they look when they look like when they're on it. They've got to be purple. Absolutely got to be. So let's just take this one out. So that oh that needs to go up a bit that one that or that I'm going to go all in for the purple that's what I've decided I think it does look excellent with the the green on but I'm not I'm not going that route so pop that there and I possibly need another leaf for at the top but I think I'm going to have to uh, ink around this it's a bit too um, not purple enough <laughs> too light is what I'm trying to say so I'll just go around it with my little finger dauber which is really useful for getting into intricate spaces Wouldn't it be really interesting if we all had exactly the same stash, exactly, and, you know, we, we set about making a snippet roll, because they'd all be so different, wouldn't they? Right, so, let's pop that piece up there with a butterfly like that. Um... And I want a couple more butterflies, I think, pro probably. This one, maybe just two, I don't know. We'll see. What about that one there? Right. Well, I'd, you know, I'd, I think we're about there, really. I don't think it needs much, much more. Shall I stick those on? Which looks better, that little, the little leaf one or the large leaf one? Yeah, the little, the large one looks better. And that one could go there quite nicely. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So let's just move these to the side a little bit. And get sticking. Oh, this one I need to ink first. It's a really good use for um, any inky mop-up papers that you might have. Just die cut them. Die cut them up. It's not a revolutionary idea. I've mentioned it to you before, but I don't know that you've ever seen me seen the finished outcome as it were but when you're looking for like mottled green or whatever in this case I you know I ended up with the purple sheet I don't know what I was using it for but this was the surplus and now of course it's really come into its own so I think everything else is ready to go so let's get that stuck down there then so all I'm going to do is just stick this down. So I'll come back to you when it's stuck. Okay, so they're all stuck down now. And I just went round the edge with the purple again, just to really highlight it. And then I remembered we hadn't used any of these 
stamps, which are just perfect. So I'm going to take, um, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to take a few off. And they're perforated, they're fabulous. And just see if I can dot those around somewhere. Maybe up at the top of that one there. Um, it's got sellotape on it, so I'll leave that to one side. So let's see where else we can put these. In there, maybe. Don't have to use them all. It's not not illegal. That one there. Maybe take that one out of there and put that there. I think. And that's, I think that's fine. I think that's enough. Uh, so do I want to ink around them? That's the question. This is the, these are the ones that's got sellotape on for packing. So I'm just going to try the ink around the side and see what I think of it. Yeah, I think I like it. So let's just put a little bit of ink on the edge of those. Purple them up to the max. Purple to the max. There we go. That one's going to go there. Not sure where they where these have come from. Which country should I say? Revenue, it says so. Some English speaking country. Beyond that, can't tell you. And this pretty much is this um collage, snippet roll, whatever you choose to call it done I'd say apart from one more biggish thing I'll show you that in just a sec which way is up here that way okay let's just pop that in there and this one this looks like it's a commonwealth country because that looks like Georgia 6 on there Just filling in some gaps, that's all. Just making it pretty. That's just going to go down there. In an ideal world, I'd have put that down before I put the leaves, but you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Right, so all I want to do now, I've got this pack of from Hobbycraft 50 sheets A4 premium card pack and they're purple shades. It's 180 GSM uh, again and there's all sorts of purple colours in there. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is tear off the edge. I'm going to use a tear ruler, not the really jaggedy one. The next one along and just tear a little strip off there. Wow, it is thicker than I thought. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Came off the end there. That wasn't what I had in mind. Doesn't matter if it's too straight, really. Oh my goodness, I keep falling off the edge. That's what happens when you've only got a little bit under your ruler. Okay, well, we got there in the end. Not exactly straight, but not bad. So what I'm going to do is put the snippet roll onto that. So it's backed with that nice purple. So I want to tear the other side as well. And I'd like to tear it about... Let's say about there. I'd rather have too much than too little. So let's just make sure this is straight-ish. So if I line that up there, line that up. Well, this side's better to line up, I think. 
Yeah, because it's a long way off there. Okay, like that. I think that's it. Give it a try. Okay, you can see it's got a white core, <coughs> which um, I don't really like. But it's going to go on there. And I'm not going to stick it down right to the end because I'm going to stick another piece of collage paper of my cream card in there to collage because I want this to be quite a long strip. So I'm going to ink that first and then stick it down and then see where we're up to then. Yes, already my desk is a mess. It always is, so that's all right. Nothing new there. End up working in six inches of space. I know we're all the same. I know it. The amount of videos I watch and, you know, they say, oh, no, I'm working in three inch square section. And then on top of things as well. <laughs> so, right, let's get that stuck onto there. I just think that brings that together really nicely. Makes the purple sing, I would say. So, let's glue it down and stop it singing. We do like that. sake will you get off it's a little spider a money spider Ooh, don't say i'm gonna get some money well it can't be that we're gonna win the lottery because we don't gamble <laughs> so i'm not gonna win the lottery oh i don't want any glue right at the bottom just remembered that So let's stick this onto our piece of purple card, sort of central-ish, does that look central-ish? A bit more this side perhaps than the other, no that's alright, that's fine, you just trim the top off. I'm just going to slide mine up because I used collar so it's forgiving. And there we are, there's a one piece of our collage roll snippet roll call it what you will call it what you will um, and all i'm going to do is get another piece of my paper tear the edges off and attach it to there and then we'll off we'll, off i'll go doing that piece as well and i'll show you at the end what they all look like so let's get the get this cleared off and then i'll come back with another color exciting see you in a sec Right, well, yeah, let me show you what I've done. I've done another piece of the purple. So we've now got... That much. <laughs> we've got lots of it. And doesn't it look pretty? Oh, I'm so pleased with it. It looks gorgeous. So I wanted to move on to another colour, but there's no point bringing you with me while I just make the background. So I've made the background for these... Uh, orange pieces. Um, I don't know that orange would have been my first colour of choice to be honest but when I did the collage last Sunday, the orangey one, I really liked it. L'orange I should say, l'orange. <laughs> uh, so I've, I've just made the background as I made the background for the purple ones just using the same stamps but using my l'orange ink which is Versifying Claire Summertime. Or should I say été, <laughs> if we really are going French. So I've put my labels there and I'm just going to stick those down. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And I've, I have kind of looked out some orangey things, but I'm not sure what I'm going to use, what I'm not going to use, you know. We'll see as we go along. 
these labels, if I'm honest with you, the edges were so orangey uh, that I've had to knock them back a little bit with some vintage photo. They were just too much. Too, too much. So we'll do this one together, then I'll do the other one and then I'll bring you back to see what they look like when they're, when they're together. But I think they'll look nice. It's just as I say, the, the fact that they're orange kind of throws me a little bit, but orange is one of the colours in Timmy Backdrops number five, and that's what I you know, would want these to marry up with. So orange it is. I think that's square, I think it's the background that's off. Okay, so there we are. Right, let's move on to the next thing. And I've looked at some little bits of the fabric washi tape that are in a kind of orangey colour. This mm, could be construed as red or brown, but I'm using it as orange. Um, I'm just going to cut a little bit there with two pieces on it. Let's see where I can put that. But how about there? That looks nice there. I like that. And then, and don't forget I've got another sheet to go so I don't want to use up all my pieces. I mean I could go back into the washi roll and cut some more but you end up then with loads of remnants. So I'm going to just keep that other piece for the the other bit like this. And put this up here. And stick there, please, if you would. Thank you very much. Okay. What else have I got? I've got this. Once again, you can't really tear this stuff, so I'm going to just cut it in half so as I'm left with a bit for the other other piece. I think I just want that straight across there actually. Quite like that there. Yeah, that's all right. It is a bit browny, but it'll be okay. And then I've got this piece which I think once again I'm gonna to have to chop up. It's so blooming sticky this stuff. It makes his scissors sticky, which then doesn't facilitate things, does it? Uh, oy, there you go. Right. So I'm going to put this, I think, along along there. Right. So we've got the labels on. We've got the washi on. So now I need to find some things to stick on, like um. You know the little pictures that we used the last time i've got some stamps and i don't really have any little pictures these are bits out of the timmy uh palettes selection that he does these are the kind of orangiest that's from 49 and market this is from 49 and market i love that I wish there was one more bow because they're really gorgeous but I've just got one so I'll make the most of it um, that really is orange then I've got these little flowers they're quite nice I've only got two of them though so please use sparingly uh, and I've got this orange butterfly well that just looks dandy there I like that a lot um, have I got any rub offs or anything with butterflies on yeah yes I, I think yeah there's a whole orange sheet come on come on let's get the orange out nope oh, that's it that one there that didn't take much looking for did it I love, yeah, I'm going to say it again because just in case you didn't hear me the last million times, I love orange, or uh, rub-ons, love orange, love rub-ons, they are just fantastic. So I've got butterflies, I've got that bit there that's interesting, flowers, oh come on, 
This is just perfect, perfect. Might not have to use any of these bits. Let's shuffle those off somewhere. I might have to, but let's get going with these first. So, bearing in mind that I need some for the other piece as well. Let's cut out these pretty flowers here. They're speaking to me, saying, use me, use me. There's really nice little sort of splots, splashes, whatever you want to call it, that are here. And of course, I don't want to lose them either. See that little bit there? Oh, yeah, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. Right, so how about we put that there? I think that would look look good. So let's just check. Yeah, down a little bit perhaps. There. Oh, lovely. Let me get my tweezers out. My tool of choice. And it should stick all right over that fabric washi tape, I think. Don't think there's going to be a problem. It seems to stick. They seem to stick over absolutely everything. It's quite a big rub on this, isn't it? So I'm just going to go from ow, ow, one side. It's not rubbed off yet. I just peel my way slowly along there's little bits that haven't rubbed off i'm just going back sticking it back down and rubbing over them i just take time oh look at that Oh, look at that. It's fab. Fab, fab. Totally fab. Love it. Oh. So I've got this bow that I was thinking I might want to use kind of near the middle. Uh, and then it might kind of go over both. I don't know which side to on this. That, no, that doesn't look right either. I do not know. Possibly like that. We'll say that. So I'm going to need something for in here. Let's go back to the rub on, see what they have to offer us. Oh, well, there's all these nice palette pieces. Palette pieces. <gasps> you know what I mean. Yeah, that's nice. So I think that would go there. I think it would go there and then I might just have room for a stamp in there. We'll see. Oh, my tweezers want to dig into me today. So I hope you're all having a nice weekend. Uh, speaking personally, it's Thursday afternoon <laughs> and I haven't managed to get a video out today. I was intending to do a Bob video but that hasn't happened but never mind. I can do one tomorrow. So yeah I mean that's just perfect there I think. Absolutely gorgeous. And that butterfly there. Fabulous. Let's have a look at the stamps. These really are quite browny but they're gonna be orangey in my head. So I can pop that there. This is from Queensland. Yeah, I like I like the way this is building up. It's it's coming along quite nicely. So let's stick that down. I'm not going to go round it with any ink or anything. It's dark enough. I don't want to darken it anymore. And I'm not sure at this stage whether that's a Timmy. A Timmy piece or a 49 in market. I can't remember, I just got everything out. <laughs> so 
so that is going to go there well let's let's stick it down best thing to do otherwise it just floats around getting on my wake yeah that's lovely right so moving along moving on up uh, that butterfly is definitely going there because he looks perfect there need to have a check and see what the butterfly stockage is <laughs> how many orange butterflies do I have oh that's so nice there this is such a nice thing to do you'll enjoy it once you get going I know you will um, so we need something there something little well, I've got these two flowers but that's all I've got I've only got two so I might leave that and come back to that because I don't know what I'm going to put there what's the leaf situation yeah I have leaves uh, yeah these ones are nice aren't they Ooh. Ooh, that's quite nice it's it's on the brownie side of life I'm not gonna lie to you but it is orangish <laughs> so I'm having it so how about putting that there I think that's just made for the job yeah that is made for the job so let's stick that down so Mr F's back from shopping and what do you know we've got three more new sets of drawers <laughs> if you're imagining in your head that my house is literally covered with drawers yeah you're right it's just to try and order my stash um, because if I don't order it I can never find anything that I want for one and it just it really annoys me it really gets to me that I can't um, put things away I don't know where to go and look for them to get them out I think I might want that there I'm just going to have to lift that up a little bit if I can. Okay, that doesn't want to lift up, so stay down, and that's what I say. Makes you happy. Stay there. So maybe that can go there instead. Let's do that. Let's just pop that there lovely right so some more flowers please yes please or butterflies I have butterflies too um, I think a butterfly there just a little one this little one here will do nicely yeah I wondered why that looked so nice it's because it's got green leaves that's why it's the green that's standing out. So where am I going to put this? Up there? That would be quite nice actually, right up there. I've got this little gap here though. I think that's better there. Let's do that. So yeah, I... I would suggest that you raid your stash for this and just as you're going through it just chuck to one side anything that's the right colours that you want to use which is basically what I did let's see it's gone invisible there we go Oh, this is looking nice. It's nicer than I thought it was going to look because I thought it might be a bit stuck with orange, but no, I like that. So let's let's tear these labels down so they're the same as that edge. Let's 
it's a bit of washy on that one that I'm going to have to cut off because I can't tear it. I'm really rubbish at tearing paper. Right, there we go. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's nice. Just needs inking, of course. I don't think that necessarily needs anything more on it, to be honest. I'm going to do the first layer with orange and then come back in with the vintage photo. See how bright that it is? It's just, oh, it's way too bright. So then I'm just using my ink. It's a bit more translucent. Just knock that orange back. There we go. So, would you say that's finished? I'd say it's finished. Looks finished to me. Okay, so now we're going to add on the next piece of paper, which is where? Here it is. So all I'm going to do is, now this, parts of this are upside down. I've got to remember about that. Um, I'll stick it this way. Parts of it are upside down. I'm just going to have to live with it, I think. I'm just going to glue the top quarter, quarter to half an inch, I suppose. There it is. There we go. And stick that on so it's something like straight like that will do nicely there we go so oh yeah that does look lovely right so off we go again so the first thing I'm going to put on are my labels as ever I'm going to put this one right at the, oh, on the other side because I've got that one there. So yeah, put that one there. Let's stick as we go, shall we? Because we know we're going to put these down first. So I'll try and get those straight. And furthermore, the washing that I put out is blowing nicely in the sunshine. So it's been a slight upturn in the weather. I really like getting my washing dry outside because electricity these days is just so expensive. It's ridiculously expensive, actually. If you're doing this at home, you might want to do one each sort of thing, do each piece and then glue them together. I just want you to I wanted you to see what they look like. I think by the time we've got these on, it won't be that noticeable that the background's actually half upside down. So yeah, yeah, what what I how I said I wanted to use them was I like to use them as side pockets but you can easily cut them down and make tags especially once you've got the background paper on you know when they look like that you can easily cut that anywhere you want to and make a tag out of it or a journaling card they're, they're really handy things to have hanging around right so the next thing is, let's get this washi on. Mm. I'm going to put it up there because I've got some upside down stuff going on. That's going to cover that. Then I've got this thin little bit. I'm, I think I'm going to do it long as well. I like the idea of it being long ways on. 
there we are that's nice and then this this little bit right so I think I'm just going to put it under there like that trim that off oops nearly cut through my label and another little bit back there I think will be nice it's breaking up already it's breaking up Scotty um, no that's nothing to do with that so I've got my flowers I've got some uh, orange leaves that I found single leaves and little leaves on this one let's take them out they're quite nice once you've taken some pieces out of this board it starts to kind of fall apart and it's really difficult then to get them out I think there could be an easier way But no, don't tear, please don't tear, thank you. Oh, this is like die cuts when you put them all together in a box and they just cling to each other. Little two one here, single one there, big single one there, but it might be too big actually, um, and a little three one here three leaves usually this doesn't bother me quite so much but when you're filming everything seems like an eternity right let's see what we can do with these then so oh they're really nice actually so I could put that one up there I like that maybe need something behind it uh, that one could happily go there mm -mm, where am I going to put my leaves I don't know let's see if we've got any rub offs that we can use that's nice isn't it that's nice I'm going to use that one it's got quite a lot of green in it but that's okay we've got that one on the other piece the first piece that's got green on it so I think we'll be fine just have to decide which splotches you want to include and which you don't really I'm going to cut those off to use somewhere else Right, so where am I going to put this? Fairly centrally? I think so. It's good enough to be in right in the middle. Yeah, right there. And then that will help us determine where we're going to put our leaves. the kids break up for the school holidays not yet I'm thinking I can I don't know what that is some foreign body these tweezers are absolutely rubbish <laughs> it's my fault I use them for glue and all sorts of things so you can hardly blame them when they get stuck up these ones are rubbish too I want to leave that there and worry about it later let's have a look then see if it wants to come off
There we go. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, it's turned out really nicely, this orange one. So I've still got my leaves, of course. They could go there quite nicely. And then I've got these ones. Maybe up a bit with those. Something needs to go there. Don't know what. I might put these little splats on. You won't really see them, but it makes me feel better. Yeah, they're just... They're, they're there. I know they're there. Gonna have to order some new Sizzix. Sizzix tweezers. Right, so if I put that there, how we look in, it needs to come down because it's fighting with that. I think that looks nice. Maybe a stamp. Maybe down here. Let's do that. Oops. Let's put the stamp on and then see what we've got. Let's have a look and see if we've got a butterfly. I'm just going to put that there, just like that. I could put a little flower. don't know if that's quite the right colour, actually. What does that look like? Yeah, I'm going to put that there. Why not? I've taken it out of the chipboard, so if I don't use it, you know what's going to happen. There we go. Just stick that down. Right. Let's see if we've got any butterflies. Yes, that one. Nothing wrong with that one. I haven't worked out where it's going yet, but I know I want a butterfly. Oh, actually, I think that might belong to the piece above. So, if that was there, like that, I could get a butterfly in there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, it stuck itself down, so that's where it's going. That's where it wants to be. Oops. I haven't got his wing tip. That's no good. You won't enjoy that. Oh, I still haven't got it. Don't be so resistant. Play nicely. still it doesn't want to go down what is the matter with you that's it got into at last there we go right so I can stick that leaf down that's definitely where I want that to go quiet again due to the not, not speaking and gluing <coughs> I think that kind of came like that actually oh, it's, it's looking really nice I mean, it's orange. Who would have expected it to look quite this nice? Don't know. I would. <laughs> so if I put that there. No, I'll tell you what. I'm going to put that there, coming over that thing, and I'm going to put a butterfly or something there. I've got a butterfly. <coughs> Which butterflies do I have? got some down here. Any on here? Well, they're 
they're all a little bit large. Um, that one it is then. Yeah, it's perfect there, isn't it? Perfect. Let's pop that down there. And then I've just got that leaf to go, which I want to go there, definitely. And then I think that's that collage strip all but done apart from being stuck onto its orange back. Oh, don't do that, you silly ninny. How did I have that again? Like that, wasn't it? It was like that or something similar. just thinking about this bit here I could put just a couple of those palette things well I could if I could stop shaking yeah that they'll go there and that'll just brighten up a dull corner in your house <laughs> No. Yeah, that's nice. I wonder if I could get the other ones along there. That would look exceptional. I think I can. It's on it under that uh, bow. But there is good. That's good. On the where the other paper has been stuck to it, so there's a bit of a lump. That's it. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? So there we have it. I think. Oh, I need to tear my labels off. And ink them. Now we can stick it onto the orange, and it'll be finished. I have more orange things than I ever thought I did. There we go, right. So that's just rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. And I've got these leaves. Is there anywhere they can go rather than cause me grief by losing them? There's not really. We're pretty full up, I think, everywhere. I'm pretty happy with that. So I just have to keep that in a separate box. I've still got that other orange flower, which I wouldn't mind using up somewhere. There isn't anywhere for it. No, let's just ink those where we've taken the the edge off the labels. I'm just going over again with the vintage photo because that's just unreally orange. There we go. So I'm just going to stick that on to the, the kind of orangey back, back paper and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Right, so I've finished it. Look at it. I'm so pleased with it. It looks gorgeous. I love these rub-on flowers. And the leaves are pretty nice as well. So that's it. It goes on and on and on and on. And that's it. There you go.
nice isn't it so that's two different colors we've done same foot sort of flavor i'd say um you know similar similar pieces different color but that's really nice i like that i like them both so now i just need to plow on and do a yellow a red a pink a green <laughs> uh, so yeah i'll carry on with that and i'll let you carry on with your day so hand tight the collage section is is on its way let's have a look see what we're doing i don't know i haven't got it stuck in my page in my book so i'll see you soon when we'll be doing this hi everybody well you're still with me i keep saying that like you've just joined me maybe you have who knows anyway it's time for the collage and this time we're on to week six now that was last week's and i'm just going to cover that up because i don't want to get distracted by um by the colors that are on there so it's just this page that i want to deal with and here are the prompts for this week um week six a punched out shape now i appreciate not all of you have punches um but i think most of us have got at least a circular punch but i've got butterflies and do oh, i've got all sorts of punches some that i'll never use just mr f found on his travels somewhere um and of course i kept them because you never know when you might need them yes um, so a punched out shape, a frame, I'm really into using frames at the moment, uh, a ticket, a flower and a postage stamp. Okay, so we'll put these up in the group later on, but if you're not in the group, you might want to take a screenshot or quickly scribble down what they are. It's a punched out shape, a frame, a ticket, a flower and a postage stamp. I'll bring it back in at the end so we can check we've haven't gone off the straight and narrow. Right, so I just basically I've got out everything purple that I've got. <laughs> yeah, look at it. I, I've got more than this in purple. Would you when you consider it's a it's a colour I don't use a lot. I don't know how come I've got all this, but I have. So out of all of these I've got several frames actually I've got that one that has got purple on it I've got this one also got purple on it um, do I have any others there's that one yeah no that can go to one side um, yeah and this little one here now I like that because it's got the, the neutral colours and that little bit of purple. I like that one. Um, and it is a frame. I mean, it's, you know, it's not cut out, but it's definitely a frame. So, yeah, I like that one. And I like this one because it's really purpley. So what I'm going to do is ink around that because there's a fair bit of white on it. Um, I don't mind the white, but I just want to ink around it. using archival dusty concord for no other reason really than it was here it was out it was out on my desk so that's what's getting used so i'm just uh, inking the inner edge of this now which can be a little tricky in the corners but you could use a finger you know one of those things that go on your finger you might get better results but that's okay and now I'm going to just go nip around the outside of it. So let me tell you at this stage that the complementary colour of purple is yellow. And if you think what crocuses look like or irises look like, purple and yellow just sing. Once again, nature's got it completely right. So yeah, I like that frame, like it a lot. Uh, and I knew, I just knew when I saw it, I was going to use that frame. So I went ahead and uh, used a purple illegible text. It's a Tim Holtz 
uh, stamp just to go in behind that. So that's going to go there. So let's stick that on because we know that's going to go there. I haven't really... Where's my glue? Where's my glue? Oh my life, where's my glue? I've lost my glue. Oh, it's sat right up there. Um, I don't know what I was saying. It's probably rubbish anyway, to be honest. I speak a great deal of rubbish. Oh, Tony sent me a, a photograph of something today. And it's 49 and Market's new Christmas kit. Oh, no. <gasps> That's lethal. Because, you know, there's always that worry. If you don't buy it, they'll sell out before Christmas and then you won't have any. <laughs> yeah. Right, so let's just put this around here. Is that going to work there? I haven't got much to play with here, but yeah, I think that's fine. Got a bit of a squidging issue going on. That's just to block out the background, really, just to make the frame more noticeable. OK, so come back. So this I'm going to put... I don't know, somewhere like that. And I need a flower. So these are the purple flowers that I have. That one, which is gorgeous. Oh, I have to say I really like that one. That looks nice there, doesn't it? Now, I know it doesn't fit in the frame. And I know that. Um, and what I very often do is... not stick the bottom down which I have stuck down really rather well so I don't think I'm getting that up anytime soon oh, I don't know maybe maybe baby oops oh that's stuck down so well there we go I've got it up now yeah because what I like to do with frames is to just have them sort of sticking out like that and I could cut that leaf off and bring it out over the frame that might be quite nice let's do a, a a thing of all the flowers I've got I've got this one it's a bit chipboardy and it's also a bit white it's a lot of white on it no I don't like that as much as the first one we tried any others, any others? just this one I think this one's just too big. Oh, don't know though. That's nice, isn't it? That's gorgeous, actually. So it's either that one or that one. Well, they're both lovely. I like the height on that one. It's nice. So let's go for that. Right, so where do I need to cut the leaves then? Um, I do not know. So if I cut that one out, I'm going to be left with a little strange bit there. But that, that one probably wants to come out over the top. And I wonder if I cut that, if I could get that to... Yeah, it's joined onto that flower, so maybe I could. I'll try just... Well, actually, I've got some other leaves. Let's try them and see what they look like. Um, I've got some green leaves that I painted somewhere here. No, that just doesn't look right. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. If I were to use that one, would I have a similar problem? No, I could cut that one out and have it over the top. Mm. What a dilemma to find ourselves in. I like this one. I'm going for this one. 
all systems go for this one and I need to cut out this what this leaf let's just do it there that's it done and <gasps> my heart's kind of in my mouth at this stage I really don't want to wreck this piece of ephemera. It's a 49 and market piece. I've been using them quite a lot this week um, and they're just so lovely. Well, maybe the thing to do is to cut that other leaf out as well with it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that before? Man down. I'll just cut that down there. Right, let's, whoops. Let's try that, see what it looks like. So drop that into there. And then I want to furcle that one out and this one out. So push that back up through there to where it's going, which is about what's stopping that? What's stopping you? Wow, this is fiddly diddly, isn't it? I don't know what's stopping that. I can't see. I can't see what's holding it up. That's it, got it. Something was right. I want that a little bit lower because I want this small one to still be within the frame. And then that's over the top and this one's coming over the top as well. That's nice. Now it's integrated into the frame because I've got bits this side of it, got bits in the frame coming out over the top. Yeah, I like that, that's nice. That goes there and that probably will fit back into there actually. And that bit goes there. <sighs> that was a bit fraught, wasn't it? Right, so what do I need to stick first? Probably, oh, knock at the door. Uh, that was Amazon, of course. I'm going to stick these flowers down. And that might be, oh, my glue's erupting. That's unlike it. Um... Yeah, well, basically I'm going to put some glue on the back of this. And on the back of this one. And try and keep them up off there until I'm ready to glue them down. Until I see exactly where they need to go. So that goes there and that goes there, I reckon. That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, then I'm going to stick my leaves down. I've been using frames quite often this week. I don't know why suddenly, all of a sudden, they've come into my mind to use. But I'm enjoying using them. So I'm going to press that back as near as I can to where it came out. And that looks all right, I think, to me. And this one, just the little tip of it goes back to there right that's great so when we get the whole thing stuck down onto the page it'll it'll all be solidified that's great right phew -y. so next thing is um yeah, I want to kind of put that there. I like it there. Well, I'm just going to cover that edge of there. So, yeah, like that, I think. I think exactly like that. Um, I've also got this other frame, and I really do like it. I'd quite like to use that, actually. So I think I might. I think I might just put that there. 
Let's do it. I'm not going to ink around it. I want it looking its kind of natural, neutral colour. So, just there really. You can see it's still a frame and you can see those lovely purple flowers on it. I'm not sure what they're lilies I think they are. So let's give that a good press down and then that's going to go there like that. Great. So that's the frames and the flowers sorted. Excellent. So next thing's probably a ticket I would say. So going through these I know I've got tickets somewhere in here. Yeah there's a ticket and yeah Colchester Borough Council so that's definitely a ticket um, and I, I'd say that's probably a ticket as well it doesn't have to be as long as I include one in my collage we're, we're, we're out of problem so yeah right which one of these do I want that's probably a better colour for my purple although that does match come here that postage stamp. Anyway, let's try this one. So quite like that there. And then I've got this green one that I'd like to just step out to there, I think. So I, the reason I'm going with green is because I've got green leaves. No other reason at all. I just like the green and the purple together. So I like that assemblage down there. That's nice. Um, I have, like I say, still got this one. That's quite nice. What else do I need? Punch out shapes. Yeah, well, I've got circles and hearts. And I happen to have a heart in both green and purple. This says, oh, happy day. It's so nice. Anyway, so if I left that ticket there, put one heart there, one heart there. Yeah, quite like that. That's quite nice. And... Yeah, I've got purple leaves that I hand painted myself, or I've got green ones from the kit, or I spy some green leaves there as well that I've painted. Don't know, let's just try them in there, see what they look like. Yeah, I quite like that. It's it's taking your eye that way. I like them. So sorry, little hand painted leaves. You're not coming out to play today postage stamp I laid one purple postage stamp out and yeah it's that way up so I'm thinking it could go there beside that other one just there so what are we missing now then punched out shape yes got two hearts frame definitely we've got two ticket yes two three um flower yes a great big one and a postage stamp. Yeah, well, that was easy. Let's just push all these out my way. Oh yeah, I did also look out some green washi, but I can't, I, I can't think of a place that would look good actually. No, I don't think, I think we've got everything we need for a successful collage there. So let's stick the bits down that go at the back. Speedy collage. And it's a nice, I like it. It is easier when you take things out that are suitable. Um, and then select from there rather than having your entire stash to select from 
I just find that puts me off when I've got too much. So I just basically went through and found all the all the purple stuff that I had. Well, I had accessible, put it that way. And I did think it was entirely possible to make a collage from what I had. And I was right. So this wants to go there. It's near that edge as I can get it. Like that. Great, that's good there. And then this little ticket and the leaves. Like that, and we'll cover that piece up there. That's just a corner sticking out that we don't need. So that's serving, doing good duty, that ticket up there. <coughs> and these little leaves. just going to be there like that just carrying the sort of flower and nature theme on a little bit so there we go now I think it's time to stick the big frame on oh no I want that stamp on first Just pop that there. Just over that other stump nestling nicely there. Okay. So now it's the big frame. Put a bit of glue on the top of that flower. Hopefully we can get this to stick. It's kind of multi-layered, which isn't in its favour, but it should be all right. Right, so we want this exactly where we want it, which is about there. Out there, I think. That's kind of where it was bit hard with this because it's not the edges aren't straight the inside bit is straight but the edges aren't but I think that's fine let's give that a good press down and the flower at the top which is being a little resistant let me get my baby brayer out Lovely. So it's ju just the hearts, I think. So I was going to put one there and one there. Yeah, I like that. Nothing wrong with that, I don't think. Let's try and get the centre on the centre of that frame. There we go. Let's hold it down till it gets the message. Well, that came together very quickly, didn't it? Nice. I'm seeing all these nice words here. I might just have a look at those. Lovely. So what have I got? I've got focus on the good. I've 
got Oh Happy Day, Snap Snap Snap, Best Ever, Great Times, uh, is that it? Remember This, I can't pick up anything these days, um, You Are a Work of Art, oh yeah I've got to put that on, that's funny, You Are a Work of Art, where shall I put it? Down there somewhere, do you think? Yeah, I think so. Why not? We'll remember it and smile when we come back to it, I'm sure. So just there. That's what I think. Is that straight? Straight-ish? Yeah, reckon so. There we have it, guys. I think that's it finished. In record time today. I like that. It's one of my favourites that we've done, actually. I really like it. Very botanical. So, where's the list of things? Here we go. Let's just check them off. Uh, punched out shape, yes. Frame, yes. Ticket, yes. Flower, absolutely. And postage stamp. Well, one cursory little postage stamp, but you know. Uh, it is there, so that's all that matters really. So that, guys, is my collage for today. I hope you like it. I really enjoyed that one didn't seem to have to struggle too much with that it was just it's just lovely so i shall see you through the week thanks for joining me for this premiere i love being able to chat to you guys it's fabulous um and in the meantime look after yourselves and remember be kind bye for now bye <laughs>